This is a 2005 T190 Bobcat T190. Another thing to check on you when you're doing regular maintenance, you can see I just changed the filters on this machine, uh, is to check this serpentine belt. This is going to go off of the alternator right back there. And, uh, you know, obviously any motor run machine uh, without an alternator, you are going to be dead in the water. So always check this belt as well. I just had to replace it. A lot of the teeth were missing. It was pretty frayed. It was pretty gnarly looking. Um, so make sure you check that. It's very easy to adjust. There's a bolt. There's a uh, 10 millimeter right there. You just loosen that. You can leave the bottom bolt. The bottom bolt is really not meant to be loosened. There's another bolt down there. You can see I at one point I was just curious and see if it could loosen. Uh, I think you can loosen it with a nut on the back, but you can't really even get to it from uh, the back of the machine. You really just want to pound that thing forward. You can see I kind of beat on mine with a with a back of a breaker bar, but you uh, just want to move it. You can move a lot of it with your hand too. You can pull it forward and back and articulate it to get the belt on, and then you can pound it all the way forward tight, and then tighten that 10 millimeter down, and you're good to go. Another thing to check is this: if you got an AC pump here is this v-belt um this v-belt mine was really checked and cracked and you can't really tell the condition until you take this cover off that just snaps off with these two and then um, you to change it you're going to take this guard off steel guard off the back of it um, and then you're going to have to loosen this bolt these hoses also kind of don't don't want to move as well so you're going to have to uh, loosen typically uh, you're going to loosen that bolt, that nut as well that's going to allow the hoses to flex a little bit and then you'll take out um, this bolt you can see mine's actually cracked and even notice that that's crazy um, you're going to take out this nut and bolt to get the cover off this nut on this side to get the cover off and then there's a socket you can see an eight millimeter socket in there that you're going to have to loosen as well and that is the tensioner on the on this uh on this compressor so you're gonna have to kind of manipulate all those bolts uh, to get it on it's kind of a bear to be honest um, but once you get it on it's pretty much gonna be snug I didn't notice that this thing is cracked that's interesting so my guess is short short very shortly this is gonna be probably gonna need to be replaced unfortunately so check I guess check yours as well these older machines this is a 2005 um, yeah so I talked in another video about bleeding the uh, fuel filter and then also bleeding the uh, injector pump as well uh, with that hand primer until it's silent when you pull the oil fill cap off. So look at that video as well if you're doing a maintenance on it and you can't get a start. Thanks.